Welcome to example program. In this video, we will see how we can download and install the latest version of Python in Windows 10 operating system. So the first thing that we have to do is we have to open up any browser installed in our computer. I have Google Chrome installed in my PC, so I'm going to open it up. So I'm going to search for Chrome and uh, I'm going to open it up. And here in this URL section, I'm going to type in python.org. This is the official website of Python and we will be downloading it from this site. And here in this website, we can see the downloads option. So we're going to click on this uh, downloads and we can see that we can download in the Python for different platforms. And, uh, and here we will be downloading it for the Windows operating system. So I'm going to click on that Windows option. And here you guys can see the Python releases for Windows. And the latest Python 3 release as of now is Python 3.8.0. So we will click on this and it will take us to this page. And, and here it will display the information about the latest release. And if we scroll down, then we can see a section called as files. And here we can see the different files that we can download. For example, we can uh, uh, download the Python as, as a zip file or we can download the web installer or we can download the executable installer. Here we will be downloading the Python for Windows executable installer. So I will be downloading Windows x86 64 executable installer. I'm going to click on this and the download has begun. Let's wait for this download to finish. Okay, now the download has finished. We will click on the show in folder option and it will open up the folder where we have saved our download. By default, it will be in the downloads folder. And here you guys can see we have the Python 3.8.0 AMD64 executable file. So to install Python, we will double click on this file and it will open up the setup. And here first we will check this add python 3.8 to path. What it does is it will add the python installation path to the path environment variable so that we can access the python from any folder in this file system. And after that we can see that we have the option called as install now where it will install Python in the default location it has selected. Or if you want to customize it, then uh, we can customize it by clicking on this customize installation and we can select the location to install and we can select the features that we want. But here I'm going to click on this install now and here the installation will uh, start. So the setup is in progress. So let's wait for it to finish. Okay, now the setup has finished. Setup was successful. So we're going to click on this close button and we will close this setup. Okay, now if you click on this start button, then we can then in this recently added section, we can see the Python uh, installed. For example, we can see the ideally and all other options. Now, if you don't find it in here, then you can search for Python in the start and we will see the Python ideally and all these options. Now here what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the Python ideally. So I'm going to click on it and it will open up the Python ideally. And here I'm going to type in print and I'm going to specify the string as hello. And if I hit the enter button, it will display hello in the screen. So it means that we have installed Python properly in our computer. Now the next thing that we do is uh, we will check whether the path environment variable that uh, we wanted to set whether that has been uh, done properly or not. So to check for that, I'm going to open up the command prompt. So I will open up the run and then here I'm going to type in CMD and open up the command prompt. And here I'm going to type in py space minus three space minus minus version. And if I hit the enter button, it will display Python 3.8.0, which is the latest version that we have installed now. So it means that we have installed Python properly in our computer. And also we have set the path environment variable properly. So this is it guys. This is how you guys can download and install Python in Windows 10 operating system. If you like this video, hit the like button. 
If you don't like it, hit the dislike button. If you want to say something, then write that in the comment box. For more tutorials like this, do subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching. I'll see you later in the next video.